Now the first thing that we need to do so that we can begin bottling is transfer the beer to the bottling bucket. But first we need to pour our priming solution into the bottling bucket. Gently insert the siphon into the carboy. Then put all the tubing into the bucket. Prime the siphon until the beer begins to flow. Tilt the carboy and hold it to allow the siphon to pull out as much beer as possible. Drain the tubing when you remove it from the bucket. We need to move the bottling bucket up onto the counter where the fermenter was just sitting. We need to open the dishwasher, attach the bottling wand, open the spigot, and you'll see it start to run down the hose here. Once it's completely full, we're ready to start. As I said earlier, I use these 8 ounce Coca-Cola bottles. Push the wand against the bottom of the bottle until the beer begins to flow. When the bottle is about half full, begin tapping the wand on the bottom. This will release the valve if it happens to be stuck in the open position. To create the perfect amount of headspace, Fill the bottle to the top. When the wand is removed, the ideal headspace is created. Now we're ready to start filling our real amber bottles. Amber bottles protect the beer from light better than any other color, clear or green. Due to the hops in beer, light, especially sunlight, will skunk the beer. The same principles apply to filling amber bottles as they do with 8 ounce Coke bottles. Push the wand against the bottom. When the bottle is half full, tap the wand. Fill the bottle to the top. Remove the wand for perfect headspace.